Welcome to the New Song Cafe at worshiptogether.com. Today, Audrey Assad is joining us to share a new song called Sparrow. So enjoy this New Song Cafe. Audrey, welcome. Thanks for coming by today. Thanks, Matt. You're going to uh, share a song from your new record called Sparrow. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit? Just kind of, uh, I mean, it's a new version of an yeah. old hymn. Talk a little bit why you, uh, why you decided to do a reworking of this. Yeah, well, my mom used to sing it when I was a kid in the house, and so I kind of grew up hearing it a little bit. And then, but it never seemed like such a special song to me until I was 10 and I watched Sister Act 2 for the first time. And Lauren Hill sits in the chapel with her friend and her friend's all like, girl, you know you can sing. And she's like, yeah. <laughs> I'll take the top, you take the bottom or something like that. And they go on this whole thing and Lauren Hill just like, and I sing because I'm happy. And it's just all these little runs and I'm like, that's amazing. So I thought it was, I just loved it from that day forward. But then I never could really pull that off because it's not really my singing style, mm -hmm. you know. So a couple of years ago, I guess now, I was sitting with a friend and um, just talking about the lyric. And I thought, man, I don't even need to rewrite this lyric. It's so good. Um, it's things that I struggle to believe. And so I felt like the song was like me preaching to my own heart and sort of a, a something I want to be true so desperately that God is watching my life and yeah. my daily kind of struggles and, and wounds and like triumphs and, and losses kind of in the battles I fight and that it all matters to God and that he will witness that he witnesses my life. So I didn't even really rewrite the lyric. I just kind of shuffled it around a little bit mm -hmm. and wrote kind of a, a melody that felt more natural for me. So which is it's interesting. Because I've heard you talk about this song and, and say something to the effect of the new melody kind of gives it a little bit of that melancholic mm -hmm. feel, which is interesting even just with the lyric yeah, of the chorus exactly. that you sing, you know? Yeah, I mean, it's such a straightforward statement to say, his eyes on the sparrow and I know he's watching me. But when I read about who had written the song, it was written in honor of a friend who was very sick. And, and, and this writer had asked this woman, why are you so joyful? you're so sick all the time, you know, and you're ill and bedridden. And she said, his eyes on the sparrow and I know he watches me. And so it was born out of, out of suffering, not out of a good day, yeah. out, of, out of a hard, hard time. So I, th I thought this song, the way that we rewrote it, kind of pays homage to that in its tone. Yeah, that's like. cool. Would you play it for us? Yeah. Mm-hmm.
Thank you for playing that. It's beautiful. <clears throat> You're um, welcome. Yeah, it's a great new arrangement, and I'm sure that there are a number of people who would love to try that as part of a service, special music or whatever. Um, just from watching your hands, I can see that pretty much you're moving mm -hmm. the entire time. Mm -hmm. yes. But for the sake of people out there who might want to try this new arrangement, can you walk yeah. us through just kind of some of the basic movements that mm -hmm. you're doing? Well, first of all, the in the bass uh, cliff, <laughs> in the left hand, I'm doing a lot of this, octave jumping, pretty much the whole time. So I play the lick. Okay. And I'm going up and down. Okay. Mm -hmm. So pretty much... And sometimes I jump up here, right beneath where my right hand is. But I do that almost the entire song. Okay. So that's an easy way to give it a little movement. Yeah. And that's kind of how I wrote it. And when I perform it alone, it doesn't need, you know, a ton of things. Yeah. Um, and then the actual lick at the beginning is um, in a C chord and an F chord. So okay. it goes like this. So the melody is actually doo 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 doo. Um, and it does that, I believe, three times at the beginning, so to start it out. And then here comes the second one. And then third. Sometimes I throw in the octave. Yeah. And then it goes at the end to start the beginning of the song. Cool. And that, like, happens in between all the That's verses yeah. and the choruses and everything. Um, and then later on in the song, in the chorus, um, there's a lot of movement in the left hand, uh, but I, I like to hit the, I guess it would be the five, because the, the one is a C. I like to hit the five a lot. So it goes, sing me cause I'm happy, which is actually uh -huh. a, C over the a C over the G and, a, and then a G chord. Yeah. And, then, and then it's an A minor, an F, and a G again. And, I, and then I hit the uh, his eyes on the sparrow. There's something really hesitant and kind of like not quite resolved about this, the yeah. C over the G chord. So I hit that a lot in the choruses. Um, and then there is something later on as well in the later choruses um, where I do a little, I throw in the, yeah, I heard that. the G sharp, which I think that's a five sharp or six flat or whatever you call it if you use national numbers um so it would be like i throw it in where um i sing because i'm happy and i sing because i'm free and then again under his eyes on the sparrow so it's an e chord with a seven and over the g sharp so that happens twice in the later courses to just sort of give it a little lift. Yeah, it does really set that last chorus mm -hmm. off really well. Well, thank you. I mean, I think that's a lot of great reference points Sweet. for people, and they can fill in the rest from there as they figure it out. Thank you so much for coming You're by welcome. and sharing the song with us. Thanks for asking.